my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush forward to this as I know many of you have at home as well we got really really good comments last time we filmed this episode so we're back to do it again but I've been excited to film it we've got Charlie and me here literally cameramen today for the one and only breaking 90 George we're back. he's back take, so, two. take two he wants to get rid of his breaking 90 name he wants to go down to breaking 80 <laughs> he's just joined five lakes we've actually put three cards in and weirdly enough I think a lot of people can relate to this at home you didn't know this child, but he's actually been given a handicap of 14. Ooh. Yeah, so he has to be breaking 90 at yeah. the moment to be playing to handicap. So I think it was a 19 over, an 18 over, and a, uh, a 19 over of the cards that were put in. Yeah. But maybe because of the playing conditions of that day, he's actually been put down to a 14 handicap. So back again, Five Lakes Golf Club. It's going to be a two part video. Part one will be holes one to nine, part two will be holes 10 to 18. Breaking 90 George, wanting to get rid of his breaking 90 name. Let's see if he can do it. Starting off at the first hole, let's get it underway. So first hole, 281 yards, straight downwind, slightly off the left. Bunkers up the left, the second bunker is about a 195 carry. Bunk on the right is about 200 to the end of the lip of it. What are you hitting? Five iron. Five iron, I yeah, like the play. Bunker on the right. Yeah, good play. Gonna move that behind your ball. Why do you never move stuff like that? Honestly, it kills me. My shot is yours. <laughs> Absolutely fine, mate. That is going to run as well. Not the best strike, but it's in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Little finny weasley, Charles. Yeah, really. Nice and early. Good start. Straight down the middle of the fairway. Right, so as always, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. It bumps our videos up. More of you at home can see it, which is what we want. But this is my favourite series so far. This is actually my favourite video on the channel so far breaking part uh, breaking 90 part one and part two with this man i think it was a really really good video so he's hit an absolutely perfect shot a little bit thin but it's straight down the middle of the fairway it is a tricky approach but i don't think you should be going for the pin no i'm gonna go just to the right of the pin to take the uh, bunker out of play middle of the green we don't have this sand the and your putting has been all right at the minute so middle of the green two part <laughs> <laughs> you go out there mate through there middle of the green two part He's gone right at it. Go. Oh! Lipped <laughs> out. He's nearly hold it. That's Sorry for the start. shaky. That's a way to start. Sorry for the shaky camera work with this lens. It's really hard to hold it still. But Georgie boy, was that a little pull then? If he was aiming in the middle of the green. No, I aimed at the flag. I thought the wind bring it over a bit. So maybe I don't know. Nearly hold it, mate. Not the plane, <laughs> mate. Not the plane, <laughs> Eagle off the start. I think that might be a tap in. Yep, birdie to start. <laughs> Have you got it? I think it's just dying pace into the hole. Nope. Tap Sorry. it in, mate. It's a solid par though on the first. Yep. There it is. Level par through one. Maybe a little bit annoying because that was a good birdie look there. But we can't quabble at par today. Pars are what we want on breaking 90. Pars breaks 90. Let's get to hole Pars two. Break par. Right, hole two. Playing straight into cheddar, George. I'm going for four iron. You're going four iron. Yeah. Hopefully middle, middle of the fairway again. Yep. Chip in. Chip in. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Oh, it's bounced in. Into the rough, not into the water. Should I hit another. Take a provisional. Take two. That's fine, that one, mate. Yeah. Oh, hopefully find the first one. Right. Ne bueno, Charlie. Unlucky that. No good, George. Ah, but good start. the good thing is, 
His other ball is just in the fairway, but he's going to be playing his fourth from there. His fourth, isn't it? Three off the tee. He's yeah. going to be playing his fourth from here, so I reckon, what do you reckon, Joe? Get off with a six, I think, is the, six is is the aim now, yeah. yeah. Try and get off with a six, <coughs> limited to a double bogey, unfortunately. What are you doing? You right there, Joel? Nice and close, Good bit of parking. So, what are you left with, George? 174. 174 yards straight into Breeze. <coughs> Front pin, so it's carry distance, because you're going to have to land this on the green. I'm going to go five, I think. Five iron, yeah? Do you reckon? It's definitely not a six iron. Right, was it 174? Yeah. Yeah, go five iron. Good strike, mate. Nah. Ah. Sand. Sand. How's your bunker game? We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Right, so unfortunately George has found the sand. Throughout this video, if you see other balls on the green, me and Charlie are playing as well, so just ignore them if you don't mind. Up and down would be lovely, mate. Oh. It's out, which is the main thing. A bit too soft. A little bit too soft, but it's out, mate. You just didn't want to leave yourself in it. He's going to have that putt for a double. Sit. Nope. I mean, that, that was hit pretty hard, George. <laughs> that was hit pretty hard, mate. Oh. Right, take your time with this. Every shot matters. Nope. Oh. Nearly had it. Listen, mate, take your time. Do not rush this. What? Take your time. Nope. Let's get on to the next stop. <laughs> Let's count them. Three off the tee, playing four into the fairway. So four into the bunker, five out of the bunker, four putt nine. That has made it hard for him now. Not gonna lie, it's gonna take some good golf. Nine. That's damage limitation though. That's a, that probably a lot of people at home can let us know down in the comments if you can relate to something like that. I think for me, that is the massive difference between a low single figure handicapper and a mid to high handicapper. Stuff like that. On to the next par five, hopefully you can get one back. Right, third hole. Not ideal, we'll forget about that last one. Par five, into wind again off the left. Your man Charlie boy here took three off the team. What did you score? Six. Six, so yeah. par off your second ball. It happens, but you've just got to try and damage and limitation it as much as you can. Just try and put your ball in the right place, take your time with it. For people who haven't watched our videos before, Charlie plays off seven, should be a little bit lower with putting cards in, so that will come down. But if we're in that bunker playing out for five, there's there's no way in hell we walk off of a nine. No. In no, in no round in history. And that's not a dig at that's not a dig at you, George. I'm not making a nine from there. No. Neither are you. But forget about it, George. Five over. Um, it's fine. Through two. You parred the first, so that gained you a shot. So really that's only a quadruple bogey. <laughs> there. Well no, in fact, if you take it away, it's a triple bogey, because you should be bogeying every hole to break 90. That's right, there's some pars to be made. Let's get back on track. Get, get par in. Like this hole. Birdie, mate. Two iron. Two iron, by the way. Well done, <laughs> I'll do your job for you, Ash. Great ball. Up the left. Yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, it's fine there, mate. Good shot after that last hole, George. Just a little bit too much draw. It's gone into the left-hand side rough, but absolutely fine there. You can make birdie from there, mate. We need to make some birdies now. Birdies are a must now. No more losing balls. No more losing balls. What are you six, saying? Six, well, a bit of rough there, I reckon six iron, isn't it? Yeah, so you're going with the grass though, so the, the grass is, is running with the ball. I think you can get a good strike on that, so what I mean by that for people at home, the ball is going with the grain, so it's going to be, well, it's, not, as much, it's, not, right? it's not going to grab the club at all. Right, I'm going to hit a five then. Yeah, so he's a long way into the hole still, no point zapping it, over 300 yards still, into right the hole. Side of the fairway. Yeah, Hopefully. nice little five iron draw <laughs> down the middle. Right, down there. How far out are you, George? Dunno. <laughs> nice. It's a back pin, so it'd probably be about 175, 180. 180. Yeah. 180 yards straight into wind. Hi right, Charles. Little four iron. Four iron, yeah? Wind stronger then. Little punchy one. No, just at it. <laughs> Fair enough. It's fine mate. Not great though, is it? It's not great. I hate this game. <laughs> you hate it? 
<laughs> and it's just stayed at home in the warm. <laughs> in the warm, it's bloody boiling. Up and down would be nice here, wouldn't it, mate? What do you reckon? Run it in there. Or get... You've got the. It's a back pin, so you've got all of this green to work with. You don't have to go the aerial route here. That's that bit there slopes, doesn't it? Stressful, isn't it, go? Gonna go for 52. Just try and land it. There's a little ridge by that bunker in there. Yep. Just over that. And Let it release. Great Get shot. Down. Sit, 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 sit. A bit further than I wanted. That's good though. It's it's good line. It's not bad. No. Oh, that's a par, isn't it? Yeah, good. Good line, mate. Tap that in for par right back on track, don't we, George? Yeah. Happy days, mate. Nope. Well, I was going in. Yeah, that was unlucky, that mate. Right, that's a six. Bogey, yeah. It's not bad though, George. Yeah. Not bad from where, like the second shot. No, I didn't play the whole leg great, did I? No, but bogey, that's where you need to be. Definitely a few birdies out there, mate. Definitely so. need to get a few back. Let's do it. Breaking 90 is currently six over. It is doable. So 148 yards downwind. What are you hitting? Pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. That's rubbish. What we left with? Down grain again, so that's good. Another chip shot like you did on the first, mate. Same kind of thing. Bogies are still fine because you're going to make pars on the way around, so. Lovely shot. Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> then he dunked it! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like, guys. <laughs> Right. Oh, the wedges are dialed, George. Oh, saying it's got to be. Tap in par, mate. It never all comes at once, does it? Have that for a pitch. Look at that pitch, you see that? Yeah. We like them stress-free pars, don't we? Well, stress-free, I've fatted it. That was stress-free after, though. Yeah, after it's stress-free. Stays at six, mate. Stay at six over through four. Let's get back on track, mate. You need to load this. <laughs> right, fifth hole, Georgie boy. Fifth hole. Hopefully get the irons down a bit better. This is stroke index one, playing straight down wind, which is a massive help. Four iron? Four iron, yeah. Like the play. Middle of the fairway is gonna leave you 150 markers on the left, probably about 160-ish. Nice. It's a front pin. Let's stay at six over. This is a good hole to par. Yeah, if the par's good on this hole. The par is good. The last time, if you haven't watched Breaking 90, episode one, well, part let's, one. Let's not talk about it, because it could... It could. <laughs> George shanks it into them trees behind the camera and takes about three or four to get out of there. So hey, that was forgot. Why'd you put that in my head? Listen, it's, not for, it's not forgot. <laughs> we have to remember these mistakes because otherwise you won't learn from them. So this would be a really good par on this hole. Stay at six over. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me bad thoughts now. <laughs> Happy place. Great shot. Perfect, mate. Bit better. Could be better. He likes to self. He likes to self critique, doesn't he, George? Would you be happy with that shot there, down the middle of the fairway? A little yeah. bit further, but yeah, yeah. ideally it would be a little bit further. But it's downwind. You can still get there with probably another. What do you get? Four iron. Yeah, but it won't be a great strike. It's probably end up five iron. Chip on putt. Pin he likes to self critique quite hard. This boy. <laughs> so you get better. It is how you get better, but you can also put too much pressure on yourself, That's mate. How you get the ump. Good shot. <laughs> that is how you get the ump. Yeah. <laughs> little duckies, George. They're not ducks. What are they? I'm not so quite sure, but no. What are you doing? They're, they're not normal ducks. Oh, they're ducks, right? They're, ducks. they're not normal ducks. Last time we see one, last time we actually see one of them ducks, Ash was like, it's not normal that duck. It's just the colour of it. It's not a normal duck, that. For one, they're no, bigger and they're it, different. I think it is a normal duck. No, Let us know in the comments if anyone knows what type of duck is that. Be interested to know. But, Georgie, what are you left That's with? That's not a duck behind it. Them black ones. Shut up now. They're cool to more end. Breaking 90. What you got? 200 yards. 200 yards. Straight down breeze. Middle of the fairway, red pin, right at the front of the green. Green light special. Five iron, six iron? I'm good at five iron. Five iron, I like That's it. Right. Oh my god. Just a little push, George. Little push. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a push. Yeah, not a little. Why is he so angry? Why is he so angry? He's probably you, doesn't he? So what you got, pitching wedge? I've got 52. 52, I'll, mm, you might hit them trees above you, mate. Oh. Tree stump there, look. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a difficult up and down, mate. Wrong, wrong side of the bunker you are there. This is what I didn't want him to do. Cause now he's gotta go over this bunker and stop it to a front pin. 
with a down slope, so not ideal. Oh, he's played an absolute weldy. See, see that though? That's just land just on the edge of the green. You can't, you, you can't put it that side of the bunker. No, you've got to commit to that shot putting it left. You cannot stop here before this pin because it's all running downhill. Not unless it goes 60 foot in the air. Which ain't gonna... do, yeah? He needs a Mickey, Phil Mickey flicky, doesn't he, from there. Big Phil Mickey flopper. Stay that one. Stay that one. Nope. It's a good putt. It's not what we need. It's not what we need, mate. The next hole is not looking easy. Eight over through five. Next hole is par five playing straight into breeze and it's a difficult hole when it's into wind. Yeah. He's got 10 shots remaining and what is it, 14 holes to play? 13 no, holes I to play? I don't think it's the end of the world though. No, it's not the end Back, of the world. I think the, when I looked at weather early, wind's going to die down. Pars, pars completely changes his scorecard. Yeah. He has to make pars. Yeah. Pars gain him a shot. Every single time he makes a par, he can afford to make a double bogey and still be on task, but he's got to start getting on the par train pretty soon. Yeah. It's not all love lost yet though. Right, Jorginho. Yeah. Two iron. So this hole's bending down and round to the right, round this big tree here. There's a little ditch that covers it, so two iron down the middle. Give yourself a nice lay up to the hole, chip on one putt, hopefully birdie, and get a couple of shots back. Very nice. Should be fine then, mate. Struggle begins. Begins, continues. Not ideal, is it? It's not ideal, mate. Just the focus. I think that is a lot of it with him. Lose his head. Mentality. Yeah. Right, so difficult. He's got all of these trees to contend with. His ball is just down there on the left. What are you trying to play here? Very straight. Over there. There's a clear line over the dip. Okay. Because it's fucked out there, I need to make some shots. I mean? So from here, you can go over this little tree here. Yeah, but if you don't draw it, it's a lost ball. He's got away with it. <laughs> he's, he's hit the club face grabbed. It's gone straight left through all of the trees <laughs> out into the middle of the fairway. We take them ones, mate. Little breaks of luck. We need, need a bit today. Somehow, through them trees there, out to there. What do you mean somehow? Well, it's relatively lucky, George. Lucky? Yeah. Lucky, you're telling me. You make your own luck, I suppose, didn't you? No such thing as luck, mate. How far you got? Far. You have got far, straight into wind as well. 210. 210 yards. What are you hitting? Six or five. I like five iron. That's what I'm hitting it. I'm not happy today. <laughs> you're not, mate. <laughs> Great shot. Yeah, uh, it, got, it got through. Don't know. It did get through, I'll see it bounce. Right, it's on a slope, weren't it? Nice though, better. I'm really zoomed in on your face there, sorry. <laughs> Do you reckon if I open that up, I'll go, I'll go under that? Well, this is what he's looking at. Again, bunker to carry, but there's quite a bit of green on the other side of that bunker if you've had a look at it. So you probably still want to land this halfway past the bunker to the pin. Oh, really? Open the face a little bit. Same sort of shot as you played on the fault. Uh, just ma maintain your speed and you'll be all right. Good shot, very good shot. Stop dead. It is stop dead. That's what I said. You wind, sort, you, wind in it as well, in there's a lot of a lot of green there. You can't really see it from this side, but if you walk up, there's a lot of green. So he's probably got 20 footer for par. What's that for par? 20 footer for par. Yeah. One. Oh yeah, played out. Nope. Oh. Good roll, mate. Tap it in. Bogey. Bogey. Considering I went in the trees, it's not bad for now, you know? No, it's a good bogey. Right, plus nine through six. Next hole's playing downwind, which is going to be of benefit. It's going to help. Pars need to come. Pars need to come. Stay tuned. He had an absolute weldy of a back nine. The first attempt he tried at this, episode one. So stay tuned. Nine over through six. Seventh hole, par four, downwind. Come on, George. Get on the par train, buddy. Right, seventh hole, par four, straight down breeze, about 370-ish. Four iron again. Four iron again. Fairway Seven finder. Fairway, hey? Fairway finder. Good shot, George. Perfect. Better. Great ball. That's better. That is A1. I actually turned through the ball instead of chucking arms like a... Like a fringe. George gave it a bit of that on that. 
bit of that, wouldn't you, mate? Instead of a, instead of a great shot straight down the middle of the fairway. 153. 153. Much better ball. Slap bang middle of the fairway. Down breeze. Yellow Reckon pin. Nine or pitch. Green light special. This mate at nine, the pin. Nine or pitching wedge. It's heavy, mate. Yeah, it's downwind. I think it's a pitching wedge, mate. Nicely, easily swung pitching wedge. And we were just saying off camera then. He really shouldn't be beating himself up because if that, I don't even know what that's called a five over bogey. <laughs> I think it's just called five over or quintiplet bogey, whatever you want to call it. Quintiplet. <laughs> I don't know. If that's if that's a, a bogey, you're only five over. If it's a double, you're only six over. So you're playing okay golf, Georgie. Keep it up. Travel, 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 travel. Great shot. Better. That's how I should be hitting them. Better. That's it. That was nice. Content. Like the advert. Let's turn the call. What's that advert? Better. What's that advert? <laughs> uh, Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Better. Better. Oh. Dan, eat a Snickers. Why? Because you turn into a right diva when you're hungry. Better. Better. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill birdie putt, mate. Well done. Yeah. Nice. It's better, better isn't it? Yeah, it's better. Better. I like golf when I play like that. It'd be nice if this one drops, mate. Give you oh. a nice little buffer, wouldn't it? Get up, get up, get up. Get nope. Up, bang on, oh. Oh. Good putt, George. In the middle of the cut, mate. It's a good par, though. That's what we need, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. Steady the old shit. Oh, he's going, he's getting hand. cocky, one-handed. Cocky Look at him. Hey, nine over, over through yeah. seven. Would have been nice for that to drop. No, it's fine, though. Breaking 90. <laughs> You've seen the thumbnail. It's breaking. 90. Next one's tough hole. Next two are tough holes. Ne yeah, ninth's not too bad because it's downwind. Yeah, but it's a tough hole. Yeah, next is screaming into, so. Bogey bogey on the next, and George prefers the back nine to the front nine. Yeah. So, bogey bogey will put him 11 over, which gives him six shots on the back, six over back nine, which he's 100% capable of. He's currently nine over through seven. Let's get on to the next, par three into wind. Here we are, the beautiful ape at Five Lakes Golf Club. 155 yards into the finest of the Mersey breeze, Charles. Plenty of Mersey Ched. Up there. <laughs> 155, George, into Cheds. What down, are you hitting? Down with seven. Seven iron. Yep. Normal seven, low seven? Just a normal swing of seven. Yep, I like it. I think, do you? I think so, yeah. It's, I still think you may be a little bit short, but short's better than long here, because that's a back pin. I better get at it then. Get at it. Oh, and he has gone right at it. Short. Short. Middle Short. of the green though, mate. Front of the green, yeah, middle. Front middle. Bit of bottom groovy. I would have said it was a six if I was you hitting that, but. It was a pure seven. No, it was a six, I think. That was a pure seven. Joel? Yeah, yeah, you hit that seven pure, but it was definitely that a six. Pure? Yeah, right. I agree. That, that comment, you get left here. And we've got two buggies. Thank you, Lydia, bro. He's a silly boy, innit? Yeah. The silly boys are, George. It's definitely a six. It was 100% a six iron, but don't matter. Is that yours past his? Yeah. Yeah, good shot from you, Charles. Definitely a six iron, but he's middle of the middle of the green. Tricky putt, up a slope, but hopefully he can get off of a par. Long old birdie putt, but a birdie putt nonetheless. Mate, yours went right. I feel like mine's going left. What, you feel like it's going to go right to left? I don't know, mate. You know what I'll do, George? Just hit it straight and firm. Get it up there. Up on the top puff. Get on that top tier. Two putt it, on to the next. Yep. Right. I'll tend the flag for you, George, just in case you hold it, buddy. Confident for me, are you? Yeah, I am. Nice. Go. Get up. Go, 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 go. Nope. Said you'd have to whack it, Georgie boy. I could putt that. Mark right. it, read it. Nope. Oh. That's unlucky. Bad first putt. Yeah, not ideal. Four, it's not the worst in that wind into that get hot. So what's that now? Ten? Ten. ten. Let us know in the comments. Ten to play. The people that have watched part one, was he ten over or eleven over through nine? No, I haven't going, gone back and looked at it. Down to the ten, I think. Ten, I think it was, eleven. And he nearly broke it then. He just cocked up on the 18th, so. Oh, it's still doable, 100%. We keep saying it, he prefers the back nine. It is 100% doable, but this hole is difficult, this next one. Breakfast in bed, honey. <laughs> right, ninth hole, par four, tricky, into wind, it's over 400 yards this hole. George, as we had a little chat, he has to hit two iron here, I think, otherwise he's going to be so far back that you're going to make another bogey. This is a bogey hole, but with we the score being what it is, we, we would like a par, so par this, 10 over through nine, you're only actually one shot off what an 18 handicap would be shooting, so 
not bad scoring considering you've had a five over on one hole, mate. Great ball. Look at that one, mate. Another A1, George. That is A1. Great shot. Better. Better. We might see a smile. Breaking 90 smile. Still went best, was it? Just doing it for attention, I think. I think so as well. What you say? I think he's just trying to get a bit of sympathy in the comments because a few people commented nice stuff about him last time. What's it? What's nice there not to say? You should have seen our WhatsApp chat with George. He was like, look at all these people commenting all this nice <laughs> stuff about up. me. <laughs> Only your horrible, son. There's the smile. Right, good shot, mate. Middle of the fairway. We can make par from there. Fairway ball. Water to carry. Yellow flag, meaning it is a middle pin. 177. 177. Now, for people at home who have a bush and didn't know this. Nice. Apparently not everyone knows about that. Sticks to the caddy. What is it? One seven seven. Yeah, down. It feels like it's down breeze a little bit now, mate. Picks up some grass areas. Down across. Down off the right. Down off the right. One seven seven. Seven nine, it. Seven nine. I like that. Seven nine. Yeah. I like that. We've got the water in that. That's it. It's the play. Keep turning. Little, little bit long right, but you're chipping, mate. You in a bunker? No, there's no bunker there. It's right. It's not bad. No, it's a good shot. Very good shot from there. You can't expect to be pin seeking from 180 yards nearly, no, no, mate. No, wind, no, wind's off the right as well. Yeah, it, so. it was a good shot. It's a good shot, yeah, definitely. Not all is lost from there, George. Gonna go bump and run. 52 degree. Yeah. Up and down for par. Not bad. It's a par look, mate. Come on, mate. Well done. No. Well done. Needed that. Right. Only nine. No trophy, mate. Part one, part two, our video. You know, oh. part one they watch you play the front nine. Part two they watch you play the back nine. Similar to the last video done with us. You know, same format. So. End of part one. Ten over par. Good par on this. I think that might be a massive deciding factor on whether or not he breaks 90 today. He's got seven shots remaining, seven bogeys, should I say, remaining on the back nine to shoot an 89. It's 89 or nothing. That's right. That's right. Seven shots. Seven shots. That's sweet. There's pars to be made on the back nine. Hopefully, there'll be a bit of a favourable wind on a couple of the holes, which you could get off with a par. Seven bogeys is the target for the next back nine. As always, if you've liked the video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Part two will be released a couple of days after this video is out. We're not sure when this is gonna be uploaded yet, but ring that bell notification and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. As always, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one. Take my eyes open to force reality.